Hello friends, welcome back. I was busy with work and personal things. Sorry about I was not in touch with you guys for quite some time. Anyway, now I decided to spare some time weekly on my YouTube work and share my thoughts with you. Today, to start with, I am going to present you a power up with the dashboard from SharePoint list data. Basically, we got two tasks in hand. In task one, we'll be building a collection from SharePoint list with grouping. In task two, we'll create an app using power apps with a data table to show the rows and columns and couple of charts to display the data visually. Let's get started. First of all, let me show you the SharePoint site that I will be using. So this is the Office 365 online version of SharePoint. So I have a subsite purchase order. So if I go to this uh, purchase order, I have inserted some 10 rows of data just to demo the work so that we get a feel of how things happen. So in this, basically we got, uh, we are going to grab these two columns, status and order total. These are the two columns we'll be moving into collection. So let's get started with the app now. In SharePoint, we got nothing to do, nothing more than this, just a simple list. So I'm starting another tab. Let me go to make.powerups.com. So here I'm going to ups tab. So let us, uh, I got few names, forget about those things. We'll create a new app. So it's going to be a canvas app. And uh, let me call this as, what do we call? Um, dashboard. Okay, dashboard is, you may call anything. Um, so I'm going to use the tablet so that we get a better spacing. So create. So this keeps coming. So let me add one more screen, blank screen. Anyway, I'm going to use this screen only, screen one. Uh, let me call this screen as a CR Vivo dashboard. So we got a blank screen. Let's add a title to our app. We will follow the recommended uh, way of adding title to our app for that. I go to the icons and I'm going to add a rectangle. It's somewhere down the road. Rectangle. It is something not I expected. Maybe I took something different. Yeah, this is the one. 
So let us align this. So I am always keen on adding the names in CR. Sorry, this is going to be rectangle. SCR rectangle I can see dashboard so I'm going to add a label inside this and let me call this label as LPL dashboard and uh, first thing first I'm going to change the text to purchase order dashboard and let me change this font to say somewhat better and the uh, color I'm going to change this as white so and uh, Okay, we added a label and uh, our this job is done. Title is done. Next, we are going to bring the data from SharePoint. For that first thing, let me go to the tab, uh, data tab and add data. Uh, my data is coming from SharePoint so it's taking no not this one uh, I am not interested in this one sorry let me The below one is my thing, SharePoint. This is the one I'm after. So I have somehow added this, uh, tried with this user. So this is the user I'm going to connect with. Then the site is, uh, site also I have already added the site. For that, what you really do is, uh, we need to put the URL, site URL here. So when you say connect, you will see that. So we got the site. Uh, we got a uh, number of tables, but my interest is only. Oh. Let me choose from here straight away. This is the purchase order site. I forgot to put it properly. I think sites I need to put. So anyway, purchase order is my list. From where I'm going to get the data so it is connected now now the next thing is uh, let me click on the dashboard and uh, to be safe let us save this once save so that is fine dashboard is fine so that now onwards the uh, power up uh, will keep saving automatic so now the next thing is as I said we are going to have at least um, three objects on this uh, dashboard one is a data table and a couple of uh, charts so what I want is I want to share the same data I'm not going to query the data again and again so I'm going to create a collection when this form becomes visible so we go to the click on the form anywhere then go to the on visible property so just to save time I am going to paste the collection query I built then we will walk through that so let me enlarge this further down so here we my collection name is uh, order summary and I'm adding columns but within the columns so I am grouping my purchase order uh, you remember I said in the SharePoint site we are the status column and order total 
So on the status column, I am grouping, grouping by status column and group this can be anything this you can give any name so i gave a name here so group so the same thing i am giving the label for this count rows actually this will give the number of orders in each with each status so that is one label one column so in the second one i am going to i am getting the order total so here I am doing sum, whereas here I am counting rows. So this all to do this. So with this uh, simple uh, query uh, definition, you can change anything. You can add, uh, you can get more columns, whatever you want. This is a basic idea of uh, uh, grouping SharePoint data and getting the aggregation. Uh, hope you got my point now I am going to close this so we got our data now so let's go and experiment with our data so for that we can go here uh, we can go to collections so still the it doesn't come so actually i need to move out and uh, come in that's why i put the this screen so if i come back again if i go to collections so look we got the data this is by group by status one two three four status and it has this is our data is a status column and order total so we got the data now in hand whereas here we got uh, more rows you see about nine ten rows we got so here but we got only four because we group the data with this this is our uh, core core to our app now what i am going to do is uh, let us go back to our screen let's insert quickly a data table so insert and data table so this has inserted the data table and it is asking for data source data source is my column collection order summary so once that is done it is asking me to select the uh, uh, let me pull this little bit down so now it is asking for to choose a column so here we go to the fields and add fields so my interest is status count and the order total just click on add cool see how nice we got the data now it is the summarized data from SharePoint so let us make it a bit compact so you can do any other formatting or anything as you wish that's fine so we got one job done and the data table is there now let us insert a chart the chart let me go with the pie chart first so as usual i want to move this move this somewhere here okay so here um, the chart title i am going to call this as uh, orders count orders count by status so that is done so title has changed now i am going to change the uh, items property this is where i am going to just change this to our collection look how cool we got it now so we you can refine this uh, chart further i think it's obviously showing the four elements so i don't need this this is somewhat superficial so i'm deleting this so order count by status so we got it 
uh, you can put labels and all that all you can do all visual things the count you can display all those things so the next uh, I can add one more charts so that uh, you will understand how we are sharing the data one data set with all the objects so I'm going to put I'm going with column chart as usual let me move it down so the chart title I'm going to give as a do I okay let me first put this data bring the data first column order summary yeah we got it so this is hmm. Now we got chart title. Let us call this as um, by status. Okay. So, but uh, it is showing currently count. I believe. I think it is a count. One two four. Yeah, two one two four is the count. We need this column or total. So I think we can change it. Maybe from advanced. Yes, instead of count, let me change to order. Ah, oh, yeah. So I think in this. Uh, I hope uh, you got a clue of building a dashboard using power apps with uh, SharePoint as data source. Uh, I reckon this is a wonderful way of doing. Previously, I, it was so difficult to bring the SharePoint data. I used to create web part and it was a nasty thing to do that. There are so many dependencies and uh, all those things. But uh, Power Apps has uh, solved uh, these problems and it has made life so much easy. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please do subscribe so that you get notifications whenever I release a new video. Thanks for your time. Cheers. Bye.